Cool. All right. So welcome to our Over the Rainbow, where we're hunting hits. Because it's all about the prism colors and the color chase and prism. So we got our 12, 13, 14, 15. Plan is I'm going to leave the 2012 to last. So we might as well go 13, 14, 15, 12. So we changed the, the um, rules up a bit just for experiment. I think it worked out alright, it's hard to say though, I guess the spot buyers are the best. So we got Chris Bell's got the Raiders, Chargers, Steelers, Texans, Colts and Panthers. Oz has got the Seahawks, Titans, Jags because I'm chasing Marquise Lee still, and the Redskins. Feel weird with it, but yep, I paid myself. Uh, Courtney chasing the Finns, Vikes, Rams and Cardinals. We'll talk if Aaron Donald comes out of 2014, Courtney. Shannon's with the Bucks and the Chiefs. And if I hope you all saw my joke on the page. Apparently it was our one year friend anniversary or whatever Facebook does. So I said surely I'm, I'm due to be pulling Shannon as a hit. Since, you know, I couldn't do anything last break for the man. And we got Mark with his Bengals and Bears. That's good drafting to lift the PCs. And then our new member, Boyd. Make sure you all say g'day to him. He's a good bloke. It's got the Giants chasing all the numbered OBJs. And the Atlanta Falcons, which could be sneaky good in these boxes. Struggling to think who the Falcons even drafted in 2012, to be honest. And then the house eats the rest. As per the rules on the pin post, the house is not me. The house, any hits are available. Dollars are preferred, but we may be able to work something out in the long run with everything else. So yeah, just touching teams quickly. The Giants, I'm pre I'm 99% sure that while Odell Beckham doesn't have autos in this one, none of I haven't seen all the black finites on eBay yet. I haven't seen all the golds on eBay yet. So he has got short number of rookie prints. Uh, Calvin Benjamin should have no autos in this because I've bought them on the Panini Rewards website. Uh, who was the other one I had to touch in 2014? Oh, the Saints that no one touched. Brandon Cooks has no autos in the box. They all went through the Panini store. So just thought out of courtesy, I'd let you all know that. So we'll go 2013 Prism. So from this box, the colour is not what it should be. I like the 14 and the 15. So we'll move them back a bit. Cool. So we should get two autos, 20 rookies, three prison parallels. So we're going to hear prison parallel. That meant parallel. <laughs> parallel? Yeah. Anyway, that's what we want for the color. Normally with these are refractors. Then we got the inserts. So we got guaranteed decade, decade dominance and brilliance. Decade dominance are normally the old guys. I didn't look at the checklist whether they're signed or not. Just because 2013 Prism, I like colour. So I never really went back into this one yet. I've done two boxes and I think I've hit no colour. I know the retail... It's got set colours and the Fordo Jumbos, which is what I think is in the prison break over at 4GC. Empty box. My understanding with that is that's got like camos and special prints that you can only find in them. Alright, so let's see what we got. Now I remember with these, I think Chris Bell can support me on this one being a prison junkie. Um, that the I think it's the vet autos they've got a black shine like you think you're hitting the actual one on one so we got Russell Allen Tory Smith Jimmy Graham I feel thicker than I last remember Brandon Marshall was a bear there's our first decade dominance Eddie George for the Titans absolute beast we'll sit our inserts there they're still on camera Actually, I know what I'll do. I'll set them on the 2012 box and we'll move as we go. And our rookie, Sam Montgomery for the Texans. And then these. So, I don't know if I've actually seen a set. So, what these were, I believe this was the first time they did it. 
So on the back they've got the scan code for the exclusive video. So they'll go to the teams. If the house ends up with these and you want to try and... Oh, what is happening with the video? Oh, it's still recording on my end. We'll see how Facebook goes. So if you're going to put a set together of these or if someone wants to, I'm happy to take the ones from the house and just add them to your mail days. Just because I think I've got most of them already. Uh, hopefully it isn't too bad on a Friday night. I haven't actually done a night break yet. So I never know what exactly is happening. Um, I'll pile these up. I might go a bit quicker. Sorry for the change. I was just kind of realising I've got 80 packs of carbs to open. I probably didn't really need a marathon like the finest mixer. I think it turned into a 70 minute video. But yeah, feel free to let me know what you think of the Friday night breaks. I'm, uh, I don't want to compete to, like, in the sense of I don't want you guys buying into multiple breaks on the same night and then just trying to find out whatever one to watch. It is painful. Especially if you're trying to choose between like some of those NBA breaks I see are absolutely awesome with the higher end stuff. And I mean, I'd be chasing the higher end, like watching the higher end videos. Good thing with Prism, the auto shouldn't be on top, so we're not tipping too many cards. Lots of Jets cards as per usual. So our big rookies in this, we're looking for Le'Veon, DeAndre Hopkins, uh, Keenan Allen, Fat Eddie, it would be a Packer in this, uh, now the quarterback's really turned out, <laughs> so Gino and EJ, I think Mike Glennon, I guess is what Shannon's might be hoping for here, just trying to think of those draft classes, 2013 was kind of hitting this. I know the Rams had a bunch of rookies in it. Oh, there's Ray Ross. Um, the Vikings had three first round picks, so they should be a chance for a C card auto. Whoever's got the Dolphins, Mike Gillisley, Dion Jordan, that kind of stuff. Oh, hardest pack it ever. They're a chance. Um, who else did I see? I think Courtney has, has a nice little mix for the 13s. Because the Cardinals have got the, the Honey Badger for 2013. The house will be sitting on the million Marcus Lattimore cards that we'll get. Now, with the redemptions in this, Panini normally honour the expired redemptions. They haven't done... I know the basketball had the issue with the... I think Replay was their repack product that a lot of the unclaimed redemption, redemptions ended up in that product. So, these should all be good. I know with Panini, they're normally good with how I've dealt. I know talking to Mark and... I don't know who else we were talking about the other night. Maybe Shannon's. About the logjam of redemptions people are waiting for. And then from what I've seen on Twitter, like their customer service accounts pretty open with their um, issues, I guess, since they get attacked every day. Um, essentially what's happened is all international orders seem to have slowed down or come to a stall for some reason, which is interesting. <laughs> so there's a backlog. I think Mark said he had like 11 redemptions or something he was waiting on. So at Ben Tate... It was a gun back then. Jonathan Baldwin, draft bust, I think. Shannon's might know more about that one. Jake Locker is now retired. David Wilson. So this is the running back class. Wilson had the broken neck or the neck injury. Jonathan Franklin had the neck injury. I think Java, I oh know Java Best was 2012. Uh, who's the other one? Lattimore and his knee. Clay Matthews. Trufant rookie card, so the Falcons will be chasing this man, one of the best corners in the league. Denard Robinson. 
Jacoby Jones, Daniel Thomas, Carson Palmer with the Black Uni, Jared Cook as a Ram. So we got Kaepernick as the first of our Monday Night Heroes. So we get two of these box. And our rookie is one Stedman Bailey, followed by the Lattimore HRX card. Try and do that. Probably anyone looking at the camera has probably already seen that hit. Stephen Hill with the Jets. I think he's a Panther now. He came from nowhere in the draft process as a bust. Vernon Davis. Josh Freeman speaking of busts. Oh, Sean Jeffrey. And our first prism. So remember, these are three a box. These prisms. So unlike 14, 15 prism, they're a bit rare. So we've got Eli. So that's for Boyd. Welcome to Hunting Hits, mate. Hopefully we can get you some with, you, with some ink on it. So we got our Mike Glennon rookie card. I'll sit him up there as well. So anything I'll put up here will slip. I'll just try and do it at the end. So for example, we've got our rookie impact insert. There's two of these box. Ty Eifert for Mark and the Bengals. Justin Hunter. So I'm pretty sure you nearly get a set in the box, to be honest. Trail Suggs, T Sizzle. Thomas Brady. Can't wait to read his, um, surely he'll have an autobiography with all the stories of the Patriots, surely. Plax, most famous for his Super Bowl catch and, the, and also shooting himself in the leg. Rashad Mendenhall, he fizzled out pretty quick. D'Angelo Williams. Landry Jones, rookie, followed by our Fat Eddie, who does look very fat on this card, with the video card. It was welcome as a Bronco. Considering, uh, sorry with the connection things, this shouldn't really be happening. I'll jig with some settings in a tick. Vic Ballard, Richard Sherman. Will he actually be a Seahawk this year? Is the question. And Tony Romo. So we know we got our hit in here, <laughs> or one of our two. It's got Cordero Patterson, trying to get the light right, followed by another CPAT, <laughs> Mike Wallace as a Dolphin, still not a fan that he's actually a Raven, Ryan Matthews, it's Von Bess, he was a beast in college and just fizzled out sadly in the NFL, and we've got Jaquiz Rogers, see if we can get the flip going, so we've got Jaquiz Rogers. And then our first auto is the Falcons. So Boyd, I think, is the Falcons. Yep. Told you we'd have to get you some ink, Boyd. So we got Desmond Trufant, rookie auto. Base version. Nice looking card. One of the better cornerbacks in the league, if you ask me. I have a defensive player PC collection going so I've got a few of the true font autos so as you can see nice auto all on the sticker very simple <laughs> and his job isn't too bad for him so just sit him up in the corner hopefully that pile will get higher and higher got our table on Are these off the back Connor Vernon for the Raiders. He seems to be in everything 2013. I've got no idea if he's even still in the league. Now ball again. Peyton is a Bronco. Talk to me on this one, Courtney. I think the Broncos ended up with the house. Yep, but let me know if you don't have that, Peyton. Normal Elo. James Jones. Josh Morgan. I think there were two Josh Morgans in the league. At one stage, so our second rookie impact is Noel Davis. So it's going to Shannon's and the Chiefs. Followed by Noel Davis rookie card. <laughs> Marcus Wheaton. Anything bigger? Hey, Grammy. Uh, no, all we've hit at the moment, mate, is the Desmond Trufant for the new boy, or the new man, sorry, Boyd, <laughs> new member. Um... We're going to do the 2012 laugh, so hopefully that's got the big boy in it. But you know me, Prism's awesome. I'm happy just ripping Prism. MJD, Vince Brown. 
Mars Claiborne, Jordy Nelson, and then Cyprian as our rookie from the Jags. I think the house owns the Cowboys too, Graham. I'm pretty sure um, Boyd said he was a Cowboys fan. Is that right, Boyd? You're a Cowboys fan, the Suns and Eagles fan. From memory, feel free to correct me in chat. Graham's probably the biggest Cowboys fan I know. He's that big in Texas that the guys we break with in America, the uh, Texas card militia, they call themselves, as, um, I think, has adopted him. So you can't beat any more Texas than that, I guess. Santana Moss from the U. Stephen Jackson. So we got our brilliance insert. So we got Patrick Peterson going to Courtney. So we got two of these in the box as well. Got some nice inserts this year. Uh, Aaron. I want to say Malay rather than Millet. <laughs> no, no relation to Ivan. Millet. <laughs> Keen Allen. Ray the Scum Rice. Cool picture though. Dustin Keller is a Dolphin. Antonio Brown. Got to find the second auto. Larry Fitz. Hopefully he goes in the hall. Yeah, Giants first. Like the Cowboys too. Oh, Giants fan. That's good. <laughs> I got some Giants cards lying around, actually. LaFell. Zach Dyser, rookie. Probably not the uh, Broncos quarterback as a rookie card we want to see. I think we were Osweiler in 2012. Tavon Austin. Jacoby Ford. It's cool, though, how your family... like Because the, the boy, you said, was an Eagles fan, so you got three in the one division. Dequel Jackson. Bilal Powell. Fred Davis, another USC guy. I'm a big USC Hurricanes fan, and yeah, another one that didn't work out. Scam and Cam, Monte Ball. I keep seeing the black at the back, thinking we got something big. Terrence Williams rookie card. I think he's still a Cowboy. Kenny Britt, and he's a Brown now. You got Matt Forte as a Bear. Andre Brown was a stud for me on a fantasy football team on him. Well, keep digging around for some Eagle cards for him, Boyd. I'm sure I've got some. I know I sold a bunch to an Eagles collector and threw a ton of extras in. Ponder. Another bust. <laughs> Our decade dominance. Our second one's Dan Fouts for the Chargers with the old school helmet. Good old Dan Fouts. Jasper Collins. Cool name. Don't think you're actually in the league anymore. We've got our new Copkins little rookie card. Hoping we see a little Nuke Ink or a Bell or something big in these 13 boxes. Cromarty. Owen Daniels. Jamal Charles. He's an eagle now. That'll be interesting. You know, I know Chris Bell's got a 101 out of this. Russell Wilson. And they look good. I'm still chasing the 101 for my collections. For out of prison anyway. Or, well, to pull one. So, VJAX. DJ Hayden. Um, just a silly little panini blog card worth checking out if you want your news and stuff I'm trying to get links going with new products and whatnot. might move that stack because I'm seeing the back of a card so that means it's our auto on that stack let's move it back so it's in the middle of the camera there won't be any uh, Brandon Cooks 99 action happening I think we've got some crazy looking thing in this pile too so it ran a cob. <laughs> Alfred Morris. Did you break over in the States recently, Graham? That Father's Day break, that top shelf I got looked really good. So we can already see the car on the back, so I don't know how rare that is. Tony G has to be a Hall of Famer. Andrew Ruck, Andrew Luck Brilliant insert there for Chris Bell. Manti Teo rookie card. Another USC player that just never worked out, Matt Barkley. <laughs> got DT. TY. Brian Hartline. <laughs> Good old Hartline. We've got Jace Jew. Be interesting watching him sharing carries again. Beast Mode. Got a rookie card, Ace Sanders, great name. I don't know if he's 
ever lived up to the heart. All I think of when I see his cards is the uh, 90s video games where he could enter aces, you know. Gino. We got Emmanuel Sanders as a stealer. JPP with all 10 fingers intact. Greg Jennings. <laughs> wonder how it felt going away from Aaron Rodgers to the Vikings. Michael Floyd. I don't know where he ended up after the Patriots. You know, not too bad. DUI, get cut, win a Super Bowl ring, free agency. And um, we've got Michael Crabtree. So that's Monday Night Football Heroes, both of them being 49ers cards. Just trying to think whether 2012 was the year they were in the Super Bowl. That might be why they're all Monday Night cards. So we got Jonathan Franklin, rookie. Kenny Stills, rookie. So there's just something for the Saints to chase. Kendall Wright. I'll try not to hold these cards too long on the camera. Pierce. Uh, so we've got die cut, so I'll try and go from the back. Quinton Patton, I think the Jets just cut him. <sighs> Stephen Taylor, rookie. I failed to even try and hide the team, I think. Cam Lake. we got Devin Hester. Oh, look at that. For the Giants, David Wilson. He was a stud until he was injured. So that's an orange die cut, not numbered. I can't tell you how rare these are. I'd have to try and find a pack breakdown because I don't think the box actually does them. No. Uh, sadly. So they're not numbered. They're, that's the first one I've pulled. I haven't opened enough 2013 prism to be able to tell you how. Hey, Billy. I'm getting stumped on 2013 Prism, mate. So much for a Prism junkie. I wouldn't for the life of me know how rare these die cuts are. To be honest. Oh no, there we are. Found a number. I don't know if the webcam will pick it up. So it's 19 of 50 for the Giants. Boy, it's cleaning house. He's managed to grab the, uh, <laughs> no, nothing about Prism. Uh, I'm collecting like a 2014 Master, oh, well, not a Master set, but a set, and doing all the colour. Yeah, uh, we've got the um, actual breakdown up. I went and found all the box breakdowns. So for 2013, there's three Prism parallels. So even the actual prism refractory things are hard to find. So yeah, they are a tough pull. So that's to 50. I'll try and find the odds for you on that. Like Normally they got pack odds on the back of the box. So we've still got our one auto. Let's see if I can. Uh, we'll just go through it. I won't try and be super cool or anything and shuffle the cards. So with Jeremy Curley. Aaron, just like the figure. Donny Avery, there's a name. Donny Avery. I got LaMichael. James. I'll flip him around. So our rookie is Josh Boyce for the Patriots. The house gets that one. Josh Boyce. There's a name I haven't heard for a while. Has very cool cards though. LaMichael James, I really wish that kid took off. Loved watching him at Oregon. That's not too shabby of a box. Our um, other auto, Billy, is Desmond Trufant. It's a Boyd. New member Mojo. Killing it. Drafts the Falcons and the Giants. <laughs> so that's... And then hits the air. Having a tough colour. So Josh Boyce. We've got one more prison by the looks. Luke Jokel, rookie. <laughs> Speaking of busts, Trent Richardson. So we got our another Fat Eddie card. JJ Watt. Hope he comes back as a beast. What are your thoughts there, Billy? You're the, probably the residence Texans, man. Yep, there is an Eli Prism. So I just got them up the back, sleeved at the moment. I haven't hit any of the big rookie cards, which has been interesting. 
So we've got the Eli prism, the orange, and the other prisms in here. So I guess the orange counts as the uh, the third prism from the box. Fasano, Percy Harbin, go from the back. Marcus Lattimore, Dion Jordan rookie card. I think he just got suspended again. And our last prism in the box, we've got Brandon LaFell rookie card. Now I remember he was a bust. Yeah, I hope JJ is too, Billy. I've still got my auto jersey of JJ Watt. I got the national when I went that I got to get framed. LaFell, I remember his cards were very um, <laughs> cheap and reasonable, and then he became a, a patriot. <laughs> it just went up in price. So we'll sit them up there. We'll move our stack of base. Seeing where you can see, you can see the R on DeMarco. Cool. So I'll put a stack of base there. So we've got a pile of cards to sleeve. Just move this. Yeah, I hope what is too. I loved watching him play. I also love. Did you end up moving that card, Billy? You had that, um. JJ Watt short print as a tight end, that one on one out of the Panini packs, which was a crazy card. I know I've got like the 250 version of it as the variation. Alright, so we got a 2014. Yeah, this I should know. So we'll have two autos, you'll have 20 rookies, two base prism. So a base prism will be shiny like these. So they made these a base one, so there should be two of them in a box. One orange, one neon green. There'll be some additional parallels, three inserts. So there's an SP rookie variation. Oh, Bob has it now. <laughs> oh, that, it was just a killer card. It's one of Panini's better ones. So these ones, so the SP rookies are... Uh, we got Manziel, Bridgewater, AJ McCarron's got some, Mike Evans got some, I think Sammy Watkins has got some. I'm sure there's six of them. So our box is empty. This one's got the uh, Pineapple Ninja Star die cuts. So all the die cuts, I'm just going to pile them here because they're some of the most painful cards to try and top load, let alone top load while using on camera. <laughs> so, just because we'll be here all night watching me, a lot of backs and for, backwards and forwards. I'll have to see, because Bob's a Redskins man, isn't he? I'll have to see what Redskins I got. I know I'm sitting on a few that wouldn't mind trying to move. I had a bunch of Jameson Crowder. I got a Jordan Reed auto out of tops, football, other bits and pieces. I know there was a Redskins selector in Australia, but then he just stopped buying. So these ones were chasing the money colours. So the black's the 101. RG3 and Michael Vick. I got a Michael Vick auto, actually. Maybe I should buy some stands instead of McFarlane figures in the background. I just start putting crazy cards out of my collection up. So I've got... The intro die cut, when you see it, I've got the Ray Lewis 101. I had a friend that was breaking in the US. So when you see the card, you'll notice the edges are just ridiculous. Guy hits it in the break, demands that it gets graded. They've tried to talk him into it, because like, grading's painful. Like thick, immaculate cards and stuff. The um, edges chip. I think Topps 5 Star used to do that too, fitted chip. And then you got Prism, sometimes there's dramas with corners. I got a Blake Bortles to 10 rookie card out of this that I graded in the back corner. Took a hit coming out of the box, or packing. So I got nailed on it. Uh, but they're normally a pretty clean card. But yeah, die cuts and edges are atrocious. Like, I know a lot of people that won't even bother grading a die cut just because of the edges. And this thing has got the word intro and the top of the actual cards cut. 
So instead of grading four edges of a card, you're probably grading 20 to 30 different edges when you start taking every single little cut. And yeah. So we got, it's a six overall. So it's nine fives for everything else, but then a five and a half on the edges. And when Beckett grade, they will only ever grade 0.5 of a grade higher than the last grade. I didn't know this with the actual um, one on one. I did it when I was trying to work out a grading on a card that made no sense to me until I realized I had an eight and a half and everything else was 9.5s. So yeah, so I have the one on one with 9.5s, everything, and then six on the edges. And yeah, so the breaker bought it back and gave it to me in Chicago as a gift, which was cool. And then when I was over there last year, we went and had dinner and he, he goes, oh, i got more Raven surprises for you. And so I have a Flacco to 10 auto out of Limited. And then a one-on-one laundry tag of Max Williams, which is probably not too bad to have now that uh, Peter just got injured. Sadly, Peter got injured. Just with how good he went last year. We got a Giants fan. So you're still there, Boyd. What do you reckon of um, is it Davis Webb, your new rookie? I know Billy should be happy to have Deshaun Watson. Surely Deshaun Watson understands that if he can throw the ball 15 yards down the field to um, DeAndre Hopkins, they're going to score points. Surely. I mean, where the Ravens just went the token Aussie Newsom draft to take the best Alabama player on the board. And then load up on defense. Although Macklin and Decker getting released helped. Because I saw Macklin visited the Ravens today or yesterday. Didn't get a contract. But then Decker got released like the day after. Hey Daniel. Um, so we've just done the 13 mate. I'll just get the top loaded hits. So Boyd is killing it. The house has got a Josh Boyce. Uh, Boyd is the owner of a great Desmond Trufant rookie card. I remember being able to buy them for a buck or two bucks until he lit up. And then we've got this uh, 250. David Wilson, orange die cut. <laughs> Great looking card. And that's what we we're trying to discuss, the rarity of the uh, colour in 2013. And then we've got just a couple of the prisms, because they only do two a box in 2013. And they count as the colour. I was saying earlier at the start, the jumbo box. So that one over on four good corners in that mixer. Um, it's got like camo and other exclusive ones to it. So if I put this in the middle. So I've got heaps of doubles of these. So that's what the base card looks like. Storm Johnson, no longer in the league. Kid card. Um, I'll just put all the die cuts up here. And I'll get to them later or else we'll be here all night. Uh, I have to go this way. Kid Reporter. First up, we've got the OBJ rookie card. There you go. Boy. Sharp looking card. I'll sit him up here. Get him top low. Oh, slipped at least. Keenan Allen. Uh, so that's the refractor version by the lighting. Fresh faces die cut. These look nice in the gold and the black. Darrell Rivas is a patriot. J Stew. Uh, Alright. That sucks. I'm going to have to go find something. I'll go this way. At least the code didn't come out. Um, where are we going to do this? All right. Sorry for having a shuffle, guys. So we've got 150 points. So that's yeah, one of our autos, which sucks about 2014. So we'll random that. I'll do that at the end. And I'll find something else to random. All right. I don't know about you guys, but as much as I like buying cards with points, I find them rubbish that they replace in order. Oh, I guess we can go back to flipping over now. Surely they don't give us two lots of points. So we've got Manziel rookie card. This could be the uh, one SP rookie photo variation. We'll see once I get them out. I'll try and find... I think I've got the Mike Evans complete set. I'll try and find some and put them up. Just to show you guys, or a link. Eddie, Kid Reporter card. My boy, Mark Eastley. I think I'm at 180 on the auto collection now. <laughs> Devonta Adams, rookie die cut. 
EJ and Jordy Nelson. And yes, that is his glove there. It's not a dint on the card. <laughs> Uh, I should be able to flip. Brandon Cooks, not to 99. Oh, look at this bad boy. We got a Peyton Manning red pulsar. So that one will be to 125, I believe. Look at that. Oh, look at that. eBay 101 jersey number 18 of 125. I'll bring it closer so you can actually see it. <laughs> uh, the tie dye. No, I haven't, Billy. I've got... What's the tie-dye I've got? Oh, I've got two. I hit an Elshon Jeffrey in a break. Probably should do something with that, to be honest. And um, then hit... Um, oh, I bought a Stephen Ridley one in a eBay auction for 99 cents. You mean the tie-dye is in like the 18 or 25 Peyton Manning one? So that's one of our colored ones. Might have to investigate. I don't know if I've got these in my collection. Looks like I'm buying from the house. <laughs> so I, I keep thinking the 125s are normally to a box. Oh, we got this silly ninja star thing coming too. I'll take it from the back just because I worry about it. So we've got a Jonathan Stewart from the bar. Something like 90 US. Wow. My well, Ridley was 99 cents. I wonder if I can get more. So these orange ones are non-numbered. So that's the orange prism. I'll sit him up there. So this is the uh, Ninja Star of Death. Or a pineapple if you look at it this way. So believe the hype. These look very nice. It's blacks, but as you can see, painful to try and top load. Or top load quickly, I should say. Uh, no Sean Marino. No more in the NFL. <laughs> Geo. But yeah, this is I could I reckon I could and would enjoy doing a personal case of these. Shazir rookie card for the Steelers. So we got a Bolden for the 49ers. So this is the hands team die cut. So they they've got the black finish. So as you can see, no numbering on the back at all. Sammy Bradford. Ridley, speaking of him. Bishop Sankey. We got a T Sizzle little prism. Justin Tuck. There's an old name that I'm seeing in much things. He was a giant. Should have been Super Bowl MVP. Sue. Anthony Barr rookie card. Got a Troy Nicholas refractor for the Cardinals and Courtney. Followed by an Art Monk Redskins Panini prism. I believe that is an odd spot. No number. DeMarco is a cowboy. I know Graham hates DeMarco for uh, taking the money and running. Offered nothing in... Um, in Philly. So we've got two. We've got a, uh, Antonio Andrews Titans rookie Panini prism. Be interesting to see whether Chris Bell has this. He's doing like a prism color set for anything that's not numbered so here's a, the panini prisms the oranges i don't think he's going to i don't know if he's doing the retail i can't really speak for him on that one but they're impossible to find some of those colors the miller and to quiz denard so like my marquise lee rainbow i need the purple retail order and it's to five it's like nearly impossible to find then the tie dies to 15, and then the, the 101 is the other card that I need. So we got the uh, Marion Grice rookie card. Got a Cody Latimer, believe the hype. D'Angelo. Just trying to see if there's any other die cuts so I don't squash corners and stuff. Matt Forte. Kid code that's invalid. Terrence West rookie card. We got a Matt Forte for the Bears and Mark. The uh, Aussie Prism, as I like to call these. I think they only ever did them for this year. So it's a non numbered green and gold prism. 
the autos look good on this. I've got a Sammy Watkins auto that I hit in one of my first boxes. Emmett Smith, one of Graham's boys. Steve Smith, absolute stud, <laughs> in my opinion. <laughs> Tyler Gaffney. Bob Greasy, so that's uh, another refractor for the Finns and Courtney. Jaquiz. Des Bryant. Kid Reporter. Here we got more variations in these die cuts coming. Jace, I'm no longer in the league anymore, I believe. Got a uh, Air Marshals Jay Cutler for the Bears and Mark. These are a cool little die cut set. Toby Gerhardt. The Goat. Chris Ballin played one year. So what have we got here? Jerry Rice. <laughs> Jerry Rice and Calvin Johnson. The house owns both those teams. So that'll stay with the house. It's a cool little set. There's only six in that. And I think the majority got Jerry Rice on one side and Emmett on the running back ones. Kurt Warner is around. And Antonio Gates. So we must have one more auto. Potentially a little bit of colour left. I think potentially our auto could be oh, coming up. There's a bit of colour anyway. Colour's always good when you see it. Ebron rookie. Oh, look at that. Thomas Savage for the Texans. They were drafted. Who has them? Chris Bell. So that's the base rookie. It's funny that's facing the actual same way as the rookie card. Got the uh, little T. I think it's just the base. Yep. So it's the base, the refractor, they number. And then the weird thing with this prism, I don't think any of the other prisms were ever like it. Well, I haven't opened enough of the other prisms to be able to do it, but I haven't seen it in 13. I've opened enough 15 that it hasn't changed much. So the starter for the moment. Uh, so the refractor versions of these, so the shiny ones, each player has a different um, number of uh, serial number on the card. Try and get him in. So for example, um, one guy could have it to 250. And then the next guy on the checklist could have like to 50 or to 20. Like they're ridiculous for some of their things. So we got Savage. Let's see if we can find a nice little couple of short prints or something to finish this box. It's not too shabby, I guess. I wouldn't have been happy in 2014. Although Billy was Tom Savage really selling in 2014. I can't remember. Because I know it was all Manziel, Bortles. Derek Carr, a little bit of hype. Teddy Bridgewater was a big one. So we got a Landry rookie card for Courtney. Die card of Carlos Hyde. I was kind of hoping we'd get a black or a gold just to show how, how good they are. Bolden for the 49ers. Hester, I don't know, had a bit of hype. Yeah, I just keep thinking around the NFL. Their podcast on NFL.com, they've got the sound bite of Tom Savage is real because they didn't reckon it was a real person. Don't know how the Hester gets in the Hall of Fame. I think he should as a returner, but I'm biased to the Hurricanes. Haha. Uh -huh. So we have Jared Allen for the Bears. So this will be marks to 75, 7 to 75. These are a nice prism. So they're the NFL, if I can get the light on it. NFL shield. So they got the little shields on it. Jared Allen, not a bad card to get. I think he'll be a Hall of Famer in my my opinion. I think his numbers will get him in. Um, I, but I'm a, a Julius Peppers guy, so I kind of hope if we're doing numbers that Julius gets in on a uh, first ballot job. But yeah, he kind of, after he left the Vikings, bounced around a bit. So we got a Derek Johnson orange for... For Shannons, maybe maybe the big autos in one of these two boxes for Shannons. We got Tyler Eifert. So I think we still got a little bit of colour or something to come out of this. There we are. Speak of the devil on Q. Dante Moncrief colour. Kenny Stills. Gino. Kid Car. Jeremy Hill. This is the uh, die cut 
So this is a Laurinaitis for the Rams. And Courtney is the Rams owner. So yeah, so I've got the one-on-one -on -one loss. So you could imagine trying to grade all these edges and expecting to get like a 9 or a 10. Don't know what the guy was thinking. Marino. Steven Jackson. Oh, Macklin ended up at the Bills, did he? Um, he had that injury. I'm trying to think, he missed four games or something. And then, trying to think of the numbers, it'd be nice if Shannon was here. He's a Chiefs fan. Um, I think Kelsey outdid him, and so did... Um, so that's probably a variation photo of Bortles throwing. So that's on a prism as well. Because um, I think Kelsey, Tyreek Hill, and someone else had more yards than him. Scam. And then Trent Richardson as a cult was one of the worst trades I've ever seen in the NFL. I don't know what Ryan Grigson was doing trading a first round pick for him. That's kind of why he'll be scouting for the Browns somewhere in a basement. Uh, so we got our 2015 going. I'll just sit all these cards up here to the back. We'll deal with them later. So yeah, top loaded cards there. I might even just leave the stream going when I get them. Yeah, Chris Conley. I had a guy in the US. He was a Georgia fan. Probably not the one Graham thinking of straight away. Um, he just big card sales this guy. And he chased Chris Conley hard last year. Just because he said he, he thought he there'd be something. And, uh, yeah, he's got... I can't remember if he got the plates. I know he went hard on, like, the uh, triple threads plates and, the uh, like, the white whales out of it. And, yeah, I know he's excited with, with Conley. Um, no, Tyreek Hill was the one last year, and he, he was guilty of his incident. can't remember what Chris Conley's was, because he was this year, he's 2015 draft class. But I can't remember why he fell. I'm interested what's happening with the uh, Zeke off-field stuff. He's got that girl that's apparently said that she's going to accuse him of stuff and take his money. Oh, yeah, you did too. I'm sure you showed me that, Billy. Oh, yeah, the logo patches from the Chiefs are awesome. Them and the the actual, um, the old Oilers patches that the Titans sometimes have. They're really good patches to get in cards. Um, so, week 2015. So, what we got on this? Two autographs. Two base prisms, a red, which we know is already in that pile. So one of each color. Two rookie prisms, five additional anything. Yeah, I've got um, the actual, it's not the full logo. It's probably 95%. I wouldn't be 95%. I've got like the middle of the Ravens logo. On a, um, I think it's an immaculate card. And it's to four. Oh yeah, Conley. Oh, that's I did laugh at that because the Raiders are gone. Like Al Davis wanted to go to Vegas. He sued the NFL to move to LA from Oakland. Um, like it's just such an Al Davis thing that they'd end up going to Vegas, and he draft Garen Conley. Like it's just such a a move that that's all I remember of Al Davis. Like Al Davis was the one that took. Haywood Bay over Crabtree. Um, I don't know who the other one was. It took Fabian Washington over someone too. And he was just a fast wide receiver. Ah, oh, cornerback. Sorry. But yeah, he had just had a... If you ran the fastest 40 time at the combine, you were an Oakland Raider. Or if you had a checkered background, you were an Oakland Raider. I'm trying to think, 2015 Prism I think has got points in it as well. Which is a slightly annoying. 
so this one, all the die cuts are changed as well. Um, from memory, there's not as many numbered prisms either. There's still a heap for a rainbow though. So like that 2016, I think to get a full complete rainbow is like 16 different cards. Maybe 17. Um, I don't know what this got down to. I want to say a dozen. And I need 20... 2016 prism I don't know what it is to be honest it might be 10 still like there's massive but like 20 um, 2014 was the year that like in America you had to go to Walmart to buy a product and it had one color refractor prism that you could only get from those boxes and then you had to go to um, Target to get like a red one. You had to go buy a hanger pack to get one. You had to go buy boxes to get two different ones. Like it was crazy. Like there's camo and pink ones that are jumbo exclusive. So I was trying to get the, the jumbo and this but failed. They've got a plain purple border. So I can see the purple in here. So when we get to it, they're nice cards, but they've got just a plain purple border, and they are sharp looking autos. And yeah, that's sort of why I don't mind the jumbo. It's like 2014, the breast cancer awareness prisms were good. Yeah, if only they did. Like when I've gone to Target, Daniel, like I, I go retail crazy. Like, I had dinner with the mate that was buying, that gave me the cards, it was a breaker, and um, I reckon I probably spent 80 or 90 bucks just on retail. Yeah, Donruss Optic have got the pink variations and they're only retail. So we got Jared Goff, Warfield, speaking of Chris Conley, Prism Rookie Refractor for Shannon's. We'll get the pile at the back going. Jordan Taylor for the Broncos. Another Broncos rookie we're not looking for. Dummy card. Earl Thomas. Josh McCown. So this is the red prism from the box. Brandon Marshall. So the purple one was just like this. Purple border. Or a clean card. No number. So that's for the Jets. We'll sit him up there. Malcolm Brown. There's two Malcolm Browns in this, so it was always funny if you pull the Malcolm Brown Redemption or there were cards with no teams on them yet. So we got Bo Jackson. Frank Gore. The guys in chat. Um, they were debating this the other day, and I thought it was a hilarious debate. You got two minutes to win a game. Which running back do you want, Bo Jackson or Barry Sanders? It was a crazy one just to hear the stories of them trying to argue. So this is the Re Rookie Revolution. It's Tevin Coleman started so going to Boyd. They made the die cuts a little bit uh, friendlier, I guess you'd say, compared to 2014. Mike Davis rookie card. Panini Gridiron app keeps crashing, so <laughs> can't say I recommend it. Got the uh, P JPP. Earl Campbell, absolute beast. Oh. Got a for Chris and the Steelers Hall of Fame die cut, Franco Harris. So this is the non-numbered version. They've got the black and the gold in these. This is a nice little set. I think it's six or eight. Actually, I think it's six. And they're just a nice little card. There, it's a very good die cut to get. We got Garrett Grayson for the Saints, who I assume will be cheap for a couple of years, and then. When Breeze wants to retire, they'll go up again. I know there's people I break with that have kind of just stockpiled their their Grayson cards. Alright. So got Riley Cooper. I don't even think he's in the league anymore. Kaepernick. Got a Nick O'Leary. So there are five additional prisms in the box. So I assume these are going to... So we've got an extra red already. Crowder that we were just talking about. Wish they didn't put one of these cards in every pack. <laughs> Got Marshall Fork upside down. I'm sure. Alright. <laughs> J. 
James Harrison is going to keep playing again. And we've got, hello, Amir Abdullah. 1 of 40. I'm trying to get what color 1 of 40 is. So eBay 101 if you want to go that way with the first serial print. Turn him over. So that's a red mojo prism. Nice little auto, Abdullah. I believe the Lions ended up back with the house. That's a killer card. Looks good. And the killer part is, is the house has it. I wouldn't have minded having a lion supporter. I know Briscoe. Oh yeah, Hunley will be on the hunt too. Because the Packers didn't take a quarterback this year. They, uh, they normally take a quarterback, don't they? Let's see if we get this to slide in. Cool. Hopefully Abdullah goes well this year. I've got a like a NT to 99 RPA of his. So these are a nice card. These are the kind of things is what I like about prisms. Lots of shiny colours. So we got Al Mario Alford. The one I'm interested in out of um is it twenty fourteen? I was a guy that was in everything. And it was just one of those successor picks. I'm trying to think who it was. So we got our other auto. I wonder if I can flip this. So we got Jerome Bettis into for the Patriots, Trey Flowers. Oh, that's another killer. That's the house again. It's Trey Flowers. I know he was a stud in the Super Bowl. So 67 and 99. I think Facebook lied about some mojo. Because <laughs> I know, yeah, I remember hitting this guy's contenders auto in a box and being filthy and then watched him play on in the preseason. He carved up and just went, oh, yeah, cool. That's an awesome one. Oh, next card. I don't know if I have to top load it anymore. Oh. Got two cameras going, so i to make sure it's on the camera. So we got Trey Flowers as our second auto. Kind of lost it a bit here, Trey. So that's to 99. And we got the guy we should appreciate calling the State of Origin. So we got Jared Hayne, rookie card. So I know Prism was one of the few Panini products that did the Jared Hayne rookie card. So I don't know. We'll see, that might come up as a little giveaway or something or... Maybe part of my hitless boxes at the end that I'm going to do. So with that, I'll talk about it. I'll do a video up. It's just something. I hate people buying spots and not hitting if you haven't already worked out. So we got Dickerson. Who has the Niners? The house. <laughs> oh, Courtney has this crazy looking purple. I want to say they're to 99. So I got Tony Lippett. Oh, to 50, sorry. <laughs> Tony Lippett to 50. Yeah, the house has got them, ja um, Daniel, but the house isn't keeping the Jared Hayne rookie card. <laughs> I'm sure I can work out what it's worth or package it into something. It might be one of those ones that I'll use it for my uh, little hitless monthly thing I'm going to do. So the plan is, I won't go into what's in it exactly, but every time you buy a break spot, so in this it's two teams so say I'm not counted in this even though to so say like um, Courtney's got two spots to so say her spot of the Rams and the Cardinals didn't hit that spot would put Courtney onto the list so I've got a list that I'm just adding to of anyone that doesn't hit and then end of the month we'll do a random we'll go live with the winner hopefully and then we'll just get them to pick a box so there'll be like three boxes i'm thinking at the moment maybe four but just boxes and it's just going to be a mix of things like just cool stuff that you know shows that i appreciate what you're doing buying in so that's our prism jerry ross but like also a chance to get some of those hits that you missed dgb another panini card Anquan Bolden. 
then yeah, I had a poll up with options that I wouldn't mind just all voting on. I'm worried at the moment that Chris Bell's voted to let me just go crazy with a random idea for a break. <laughs> so DeMarco Murray for the Eagles. We've got Kevin White, helmet rookie. So just the die So 2015 was the first year they actually did relics in prison. So they were a case hit. So And normally they're super thick cards, so I'm not really seeing one of them. Standard Conley. Cruz. Got a uh, Joe Flacco. I can't keep a straight face and say the best quarterback in the league even. Air Marshall's Refractor. Followed by uh, Tom Brady. <laughs> Probably can't really call Joe Flacco the best quarterback following Tom Brady straight up. Base Air Marshall's. Kyle Davis, rookie for the Ravens. Kyle Rudolph. He's a sneaky good tight end. Garrett Blunt, another new eagle. We've got uh, Mark picking up his rookies. Another Kevin White. The rookie revolution set. And we've got a David Johnson rookie card for Courtney. Uh, I can just go down there. I'm just going to get this blue one up just because it'll bug me. <laughs> so we've got a Malcolm Floyd for the Chargers. Not Michael. Malcolm. So we got Greg Jennings, Ryan Tannehill, who they are one in a case. I oh, one in a case, one in a box. So Andrew Luck, Fireworks. It's just the standard one. I don't know if they do a prism. I know they do the golds and the blacks. So it's a Luck, Fireworks there for Chris and the Colts. They're a nice little die cut. I know the NBA has got the full blown card. So got Leary, stupid kid recorder card, Brian Hoyer, Neon Dion, Mike Wallace for the Vikings and Courtney in the green. Got a bit of colour in this stack. TJ Heldon, probably won't have a job with Leonard Fournette being drafted. Love the standard answer though, that all the all running backs when like the gun rookie gets drafted. Yeah, no, I'm happy for him to come in. I know my role, I'll share it. Edelman for the Pats. So we've got the Saints. I don't think they ended up getting drafted either. So that's just the, the Mojo Prison base. So that's to 99. It's going to show. It's going to show. Kind of see to the 99. It's not a, it's not a Brandon Cooks the 99. That would be good. I did laugh with all the Brandon Cooks jokes to 99. I have um, the Panini redemption that I got back from him from Contenders for his rookie car, uh, like a rookie variation foil auto thing. And yeah, it's to 99. And it's like the variation photo. So, always thought I should probably have put that on eBay straight away for a Cooks 99. Got a Malcolm Brown, Green Prism, Unnumbered. Trey Williams for the Skins. Kid Reporter, Justin Forsett. Now, this is interesting. My info says on average. So, I guess, so we've got a Des Bryant. Looks like the normal fireworks for the Cowboys. Ugh. Russell Wilson, Air Marshal, going to the Ozpile. So that's what I mean. We'll have the stack of colour and die cuts, and then we'll get into this box of who knows what. McKinney. Got Kurt Warner. Matty Ryan. Another different die cut. So you can see the uh, intros after 2014's efforts got easy. So that's Teddy B going to Courtney. Nelson, I can't catch a ball. Aguilar, I hope he uses his photo when he's looking for a job. I know he's a USC product, but he just drops the balls left, right, and center. Geordie, and Thomas Brady. That last little stack, and then we're getting into the big stuff. All right, we got Ronald Darby with the Bills. Derek Carr. The two functional knees. He'll be good, hopefully, when he comes back. Raiders could be sneaky good this year, although they were sneaky good last year. AP, who's now saying. Darrell Revis for the Jets, non-numbered red. 
Oh, AP is like right, one of the best college running backs I think I've seen as a college player. Trey Flowers. Calvin Benjamin. Joy Bell. DeAndre White for the Niners and Ben Koyak. Starting to think Facebook lied to me about hitting something big for Shannon's. Wow. <laughs> Alright, so we got our 2012. We'll get. I'll put them. Let's move these to our top load. Put our points there. Move this here. Uh, so there's our 2015 base. There's our slip stuff. Put our top loaded stuff there. Alright, to 2012 Prism, the big boy box. See how this one goes. I know I'm trying to find a few more of these, so I mean, if we do like it. In 2012, everyone's chasing Luck Wilson. Kirk Cousins now. This guy's still collectible. Ah, uh, Keekly was a rookie in this class. There's a few other guys that when you just look at the draft class, you sit there and go, oh, I forgot about him. Doug Martin. It's a 2012. It's this one. We should get two autos, three prisms, one red prism. So one colored prism per box by the looks. A rookie dominator, a decade dominator, a brilliant, and two other inserts. So I don't know what. I'm assuming we won't see a lot of uh, colour. Right. So we got back when they labelled hobby packs, hobby packs. Because a lot of people used to just get on the retail, try to sell them as like hobby packs. So I guess if you ever saw those hot pack things on eBay, at least you know what you're buying. So I think 2012 was the first year of Prism from memory. So that's our empty box. So it'd be interesting to see what it looks like. So I think what we'll do, we'll go slow with it. We'll go pack by pack. So I'm not sure if there's colour in this, what numbered stuff there is or anything. This is the first time I've seen this stuff. I think, like I may have seen like a single or something, or bought retail. So we got Andrew Hawkins, I think he just became a Patriot for Mark's Bengals. These actually look pretty sharp. Tumba Harley. So there's our decade brilliance. Jim Brown for the Browns. The black and white actually look good on these cards. So we got Quinton Copels as our rookie for the Jets. Fred Davis for the skins and Isaac Redman who was relevant for maybe half a season for the Steelers, maybe more. So that's always good with the old packs too, is when you find like the the names of guys that you just sort of forget about. Like I normally find those like one week starters in fantasy. Oh, speaking of one week starters. <laughs> There's one on the end of this. So we've got Champ Bailey as a Bronco. So I don't know if, what vet autos are in this or if it's all rookies. Ed Reed for the Ravens. Clay Matthews. Demarius Johnson for the Eagles. Brandon Lloyd. There's a name I haven't seen for a while. And uh, speaking of fantasy football one-game starters, I remember when Matt Flynn played the uh, Lions. And just, you know, put 40 or 50 fantasy points on it and won anyone that was came enough to play him in their fantasy football final, the trophy. So we got Jonathan Stewart. Reggie Wayne. Rookie Impact. Chandler, oh, there you are. Chandler Jones is a rookie for the Patriots. Isn't They're a nice looking card. I reckon a, a Luck or a Wilson or that would look good with them. So they're one a box. I think, hey, I know, rookie dominators, so that's impact. That's something else again. 
Brandon Weeden rookie card. There's there's when you find those rookies you just don't really want to see. <laughs> Jared Cook as a Titan and Big Ben. I guess the uh, the big hit or the one on one is gonna just come for me over time. I'm overseeing all these guys just hit stuff. <laughs> Like first night, one on one, one on one, one on one. Is that a Peyton base? Dwight Freeney, hopefully he goes in the hall. Oh, hello. We've got colour. Sit them there. So we've got a gold Malcolm Floyd for the Chargers. So Chris Bell is the Chargers. It's gold. I don't know if they're num. Oh, here we are. It's gold. Is still prism. So, is that gonna pick that up? Oh, I can't wait till I can break someone else's lighting. I hate when they put the numbers. So this is two of ten. So hopefully you can kind of make the two and the ten out there. So we got a Malcolm Floyd two of ten for Chris Bell. Could you imagine hitting like the? Uh, you never hit a one-on-one. -on -one. I haven't pulled one. I've hit them in breaks and they've been printing plates. Um, the smallest, the lowest print I pulled was I won a box of, I want to say Phoenix, playing fantasy football with Gochi ETS. I'll get the links up for that show for you guys. So I'm going to top load this one for Chris. I don't think he'd want it one-touched. He'll let me know, though, off the replay, I guess. But, yeah, I'm not going to charge his for one touches on big hits. And, like, we'll just make a call with whoever's watching and that. But, yeah, back to my to Marcus Ware. I've got a relic to five. It's a good card. <laughs> got a Tannehill rookie. Sit him, probably. Put him up there. That'll end up slipped. Rondo Barber, there's another name. There's Darius Hayward Bay. Um, yeah, I'd love to pull a one-on-one -on -one for anyone, or even myself, I guess. Be good just to say, that, yep, that's what I've done. I finally hit one. Clean all these packets up too. 80 packets. <laughs> Ready White. Stephen Tullick. These are pretty good design. Oh, hello. We got the Andrew Luck rookie. Better probably top load him over Tannehill. <laughs> I'll get that OBJ top loaded for you too, Boyd. I might just sit there. Got a Chandler Jones rookie to follow too. So how many rookies do you get in a box? That'll be the interesting one. Let's see if we can get him down a bit more. So yeah, Chris, you got an Andrew Luck rookie card as well as the Malcolm Floyd to ten. Gee, what you get? I guess with Prism breaks. Prism's one of my favourite products. Chris Long, great pose. And then we've got the Sancho, another failed USC quarterback. So yeah, there's no, um, no actual rookie counts or anything. But yeah, uh, hobby exclusive red prison die cut parallels, one per hobby box. So maybe we, maybe the die cut in 13 is one per hobby box. Although I don't think I actually got one, so I've opened boxes. Jamal Charles. There's a cowboy that's long forgotten, Miles Austin. Jaquiz Rogers. Casey Hayward for the Packers. Followed by Kirk Cousins. We'll sit him up the back with Tannehill. Chad Greenway. So yeah, seeing some rookies like Casey Hayward's no um, scrub. I think he led the league in interceptions last year. Alright. So we got John Beeson. He is a stud. I used to love watching him play. I can't remember whether he was from the... I think he was from the University of Miami as well. From memory. 
Robert Mathis used to love watching him and Farini off the back. Oh, we got an auto. They don't flip them from behind. All right, our auto will go this way. He's got a Chiefs helmet. 2012. Is this going to be Johnny Baldwin? Oh, Jonathan Baldwin. <laughs> I got you a hit, Shannons. I just don't know if it's a, a big one. So they're numbered. So that's to 49. Jonathan Baldwin. That would have been a big hit in 2012. I remember him coming out of... He was at Pitt. And he was just a big man of a receiver. It was kind of like... Um, would have been, you know... Megatron was just dominating the league. But he was, yeah, the Chiefs' first-round draft pick. Like, that would have been a big card when this has came out. Oh, we got Kendall Wright, rookie. At least he's got a pretty awesome-looking auto. James Harrison. And uh, Percy Harvin. So we got Colin Hunter autograph. Be nice to see a vet auto. I haven't hit a vet auto in prison. I know I've seen 2015 had vet autos. I don't think 2014 did. Oh, I haven't. Oh, we'll add the die cut set. Sorry, that were vets. Ben Watson, John Skelton, <laughs> Devon Bess. So there's our, our prism. Sit him up the back. Keisha Martin rookie. I oh, know he had some cool cards. Never really took off. Patrick Willis. Sadly, injuries took him too early. And Armin Bradshaw, speaking of injuries. So at least the uh, positive of 2012 is we shouldn't see any Panini points. That's always a win. As much as I like collecting the points, I've got like a 1,000 in my account. And I got another 1,300 that I haven't claimed yet. It's just finding the stuff to buy with them. So we got Demarius. Joe Flacco, which is interesting with the stripes up the car. Oh, they've all got the stripe design up the car. That's all right. Jennings, Stefan Gilmore, rookie. Another good rookie. You could be chasing for autos. Zach Miller and JPP. So, yeah, let me know what you think of these years of prison. 2013, 14 pretty cheap to get 2015 is even cheap to get to be honest this stuff you can find it around the place i think i found some it's just whether or not we we want to chase 2012 like 2012 has got some crazy prices and then tony g for the tony romo for the tony g ryan Broyles. there's a rookie that injuries took him out early amandola palmer is a raider um but yeah, because I'm keen to get some 2012 stuff, and I'd prefer to stick to Panini over Tops. Like Tops Prime's pretty cheap at the moment, and my issue with Tops Redemptions is Tops have lost the license, so if they haven't actually created the card, they're not filling your redemption. So Aaron Rodgers, the pause taking the intercept. Marcus Ware, Olivia Vernon, there's a rookie auto, would be a good one to chase too, Arakbo, Heath Miller, uh, I'll have to just have like an open poll maybe, and just get used to this like year and product, because I like the idea of doing a, a bigger mixer, just like a, like a every month or couple of months. And try and get like a, I don't know, like an Immaculate or an NT or a couple of playbooks. Or like get some of the, the supposed higher end stuff in. Although like you get some products that are just nice cards. Apparently you get two Olivia Vernon rookie cards. Congrats Courtney. <laughs> Robert Meacham and Dallas Clark. It really looks odd not in a Colts uniform. But yeah, it's just trying to find the right mix, or well, the right price, the price point, because to do a bigger mixer, 
you're either doing a 16 spotter, which gets pretty expensive, or you're doing a 32 random, potentially a 32 draft, I guess. So I could probably put something for last place. That might be something to explore. Fasano. So this is our brilliance in Sir Larry Fitz. Oh, I'll see him there. I'll be researching. All these cards are going out, so don't worry about stuff not arriving. Alfred Morris, rookie. So there's another auto to chase in this one. Troy Polamalu. Dion Branch. Yeah, like, I think I did post about the tech case. Like, tech is fun to open. I've busted personal boxes of tech. And, like, the, the fun part of it is there's, like, one auto, one color card. But then you're chasing the variations, which football isn't as big as the baseball. So football is, like, variations of, like, one a case or something. Or, like, yeah, one a case, I think, or a couple a case. The law firm, Benjamin Green, Alice... <laughs> the Madden cover boy, Peyton Hillis. Levante David, rookie, in the orange of the box. Run DMC. London Fletcher. There's a name. Just trying to keep an eye on the time. I'm supposed to have made a payment soon as well. <laughs> uh, so got Brandon Carr for the Cowboys. Anquan is a raven. Sad to see him go. And here's our other auto. Rashad Matthews of the Finns. Just trying to think whether Rashad Matthews is that receiver that's um, with the Titans now. Like he's like their starting wide receiver or something. I'm pretty sure. So that's going to Courtney with the Dolphins. And the, uh, the numbering on this one is two four ninety nine. So... So it's on the standard rookie card, whereas the Baldwin, is the Baldwin not a rookie card? Oh no, so the Baldwin is the vet auto to 99, there you go. Didn't realise that even though I have an Andrew Luck uh, rookie card sitting with it. Crazy, so Matthews to 499, I guess it's kind of rare Shannon's. <laughs> so you got a Trent Richardson rookie card. Mike Wallace, and then, yeah, enough said. <laughs> so one red prism, three prisms, eh? I think we've hit, the gold counts as a prism. I don't know if we've got our three prisms yet. Over the shoulder for good luck. Charles Woodson as a packer. He would have been a nice vet auto to hit. D'Angelo Williams, Desmond Bryant. Dre Kirkpatrick, rookie. I think he's about the only redemption you don't want to get in Panini. Whereas the card won't exist because he never signs for Panini. Or he never signed a Panini contract. Found that out by actually asking him on Twitter. But if you do like redemptions where you can swap in and out, it's probably a good one to get. Centennial Holmes. Michael Griffin. Yeah, this stuff... I think it could be good. I know the finest we did, I enjoyed breaking that. It's just trying to find the uh, the boxes at a good price. Michael the Burner Turner. Matty Stafford. Julio Prism there for uh, Boyd. Followed by just a waste of talent. I don't, don't even think he's in the league. Who knows what Justin Blackman's doing these days. Antonio Brown. And Christian Ponder. Yeah, so do I, Billy. I enjoyed opening that. 2015. I wouldn't mind trying to jag a case, to be honest. Even if we just mixed other boxes with the boxes out of the, the case. Oh, 2014. It comes in waves, so I think I'm just going to wait for a case to be found. David Nelson. I think the highlight of his career was dating a Cowboys cheerleader. Delone Carter, Andy Dalton, Kendall Reyes, rookie for the Chargers, and Chris, the Crabtree, and Pierre Thomas. So two packs. I'm hoping that gold doesn't supposedly replace this red prison. 
or this exclusive die cut. I'm just going to open both packs. Surely, it, maybe it does. I'm just trying to go off old cell sheets. Yeah, a case of 15. Oh. What are your thoughts though, on the... Would you do a, a draft maybe, Billy? Or would you do a, a pick one, get one? Or a random? I'm just trying to work out how to do 15. Like, it's a sneaky good draft class when you take... Like, Mariota, Cooper, Gurley, Winston out of it. Like, you got your David Johnsons. You've got Tevin Coleman, sneaky... Like there's some rookies there that aren't too shabby. All right, our red's in here. Thankfully for that. So Greg Little. I'm going to try and make the red one of the last cards. So we got Eli. Steven Jackson as a ram, which is where he should have retired. Julio. Larry Fitz. Fletcher Cox, rookie. Forgot about him with the Eagles. I don't know how many autos the big boys got. Jared Allen, Vernon Davis, I'm just glad that red thing after reading that thing is actually here, Sue, I've got Scam and Cam, <laughs> pick one, get one is cool, yeah, I just got to work out, well, I think I'll go close to be able to get it in, because at the moment it's that under a thousand dollar thing, so if Say it was around that roughly. What are you looking at? Thirty-two, probably thirty-five bucks a team. So you're looking at seventy a spot. Although a case is as, as painful as it would be, eating it isn't as bad. With I guess the, just the sheer volume. So we got a red die cart for the Seahawks. This would be crazy if it was Wilson, but it won't be. Oh, don't be Sid. Oh, Sydney Rice. Injuries took this guy away too early. He was a Viking. Well, these, num these are not numbered. So they're just a one per box little card. The disappointment is that I own the Seahawks. I was kind of hoping it was Russell Wilson. <laughs> I guess. I'll do this. Oh. Is that going to go? So I'm assuming... These are the old. So the old style came for the fresh faces. I'll leave that. It's mine. I can do that later. <laughs> we got Cam Newton. So we've got Panini points to random. So the house isn't going to be in on this. And I'm going to pull myself out of it as well. So that means that there's what? Seven, eight spots. So you got a one and eight spot chance, or oh, Chris has got three and eight. So I'm gonna do that later. And what I will do is I'll see if I can find something to add in or to your mail days or I don't know, points just bug me. But I don't really know what I've got. Thanks, Billy. I'll catch you online. So this I'll get done tomorrow morning. Or well, tomorrow afternoon, sorry. Um, and I'll see if I've got a panini pack or I've got something that I can random with it. So it's not just one winner. We'll get multiple winners. So all right, lads. And then Courtney, take it easy. See you on the page. Make sure you get on those polls because I am one of those admins that will actually listen to what members have to say and, you know, take on feedback and everything. All right, night. No.